Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how I create the Outlook Inbox Manager that will look into your emails and then based on your email we'll put it into a certain folder. And based off your email it will also create a draft so you only have to look over your draft and make some quick adaptions. First I will do a quick demo on how this workflow works and afterwards I will show you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can create this workflow yourself. I will first showcase you when you get a high urgency email. I'm in my Outlook inbox now and I've received an email. This email is talking about a certain topic that is I want to bring a critical matter to your attention that requires prompt action. So as you can see this is a very high urgency email and it is now just classified as nothing and it is just waiting in my inbox. I will run the workflow and then you can see that it will be put into the high urgency folder. The workflow is finished and now we will look into our outlook and then we can see that the email is out of our inbox and it is put into our high urgency folder and we can see that the email that we have just gotten is into this folder. And I also told you that it will create a draft based on the email that we have gotten so we can look into our drafts and then we can see that it has created the draft based on the email. Now I will show you how you can create this workflow yourself. So the first thing that you have to do is a Outlook uh, trigger on message received. So you create that note and then you first gotta add your credential and if you don't have your credential yet then you can press on create new credential open the docs and edit and has a full explanation with a step-by-step -step guide on how you can create this credential yourself. The mode will be on every minute and what this basically does is we'll look into our inbox every minute and it's going to check for new emails that we have received and then if we got new emails and it will run the workflow and it will classify the emails as a specific topic. Trigger on will be message received, that's what I just said. The output will be on raw because we want to keep all of the data that we got from our email. The next node will be an OpenAI message and model node. And this node will clean the email that we have. So you first got to add your credential. And if you don't have a credential yet, then open the docs and edit and has the explanation of how you can create this one. For the resource, it will put on text and the operation will be message and model. And the model that we chose is GPT-4 or mini. The first prompt will be, here's some incoming email and then we will give body.content. What you can do, you can go to the schema and you go to your uh, Microsoft Outlook trigger. Then you will scroll down to content and you can drag it in. And this is basically the email that we have gotten. The role is going to be user. For the second prompt, it will be a role system. And we have added a role in this prompt. And this role is going to be, you are an AI text processor that cleans and improves the readability of email content. The task incoming email and remove unnecessary HTML tags while preserving all the original content in a readable format. We also gave it some instructions and we gave it some rules. Simplify output will be on and output content as JSON will be off. The next node will be a text classifier node. And in this text classifier node, we're first going to add a OpenAI model. And this OpenAI model that I chose is GPT-4 or Mini. Okay, so we are in the text classifier and here we have text to classify. And the text to classify will be the output from the clean email message model. So we will drag the content from the output of the clean email into this text to classify. And for the categories, I created three. So it is high urgency, finance and billing and promotion. You can also add more or less. It is based on how many folders you want to uh, classify all of the emails in. For the high urgency, I created a prompt that is emails requiring immediate attention or action. Typically from uh, key stakeholders, clients or decision makers, these emails often contain time sensitive requests, deadlines or escalated issues. Keywords, urgent, ASAP, immediate deadline, action required and high priority. So this is the prompt that I created for the high urgency category. And then for the finance and billing category, I created emails related to financial matters such as invoices, billing statements, payment reminders, or uh, expense reports. Anything involving transactions or accounting should fall under this label. Keywords, invoice, payment, billing, received, financial, expense, and account. And then for the last category, promotion, the description that I added is emails related to marketing campaigns, promotional offers, newsletters or business updates from partners. Typically, these emails contain content aimed at engaging your audience or updating on promotions, keywords, newsletters, promotion, offer, sale, campaign, and marketing launch. These are all the descriptions that I added for the categories. I will first go over the category high urgency. So you're going to create an Outlook node that will be operation move and resource message. And the message ID will be Microsoft Outlook trigger item the JSON ID. So it will be the ID of your email. And then the parents folder will be high urgency. This parents folder you gotta create into your Outlook. So in your Outlook, you will be pressing on these three dots 
then create new folder, then you can create high urgency, and then your new parents folder will be created. After you've selected your high urgency parent folder, then you will do an OpenAI messenger model, and this messenger model will be the creating draft part. So what you're going to do is add your credential, the resource will be text, and operation will be messenger model, where the model will be GPT-4 or mini. And for the prompt that I created, it is a role, you are an executive assistant responsible for handling high priority inquiries with accuracy and professionalism. I added some tasks, some instructions, and an output parameters. And the role will be system and you got to do a simplify output and output content as json the next thing you will do is creating an outlook create draft node and in this create draft node you will first add your credential the resource will be draft and the operation is create because you want to create a new thing the subject you can find in the openai message model node output where you can drag the subject into this input field and the message you can also find it under the subject so you can also drag the message in there which is the body of your draft. The last thing that we have to do is send a message back to Telegram where we tell that we have created the draft uh, of a high urgency email. So what you will do is add your Telegram credential. If you don't have a credential yet, then create a new credential, open the docs and and it has an explanation of how you can create your Telegram credential. Then the resource will be on message and the operation will be on send message. The chat ID is a bit of a tricky part, but I will show you how you can get it. So what you will do, you will uh, disconnect this link and then you will create a, a telegram, telegram trigger. So you go to telegram and then uh, to triggers and trigger on message and you will uh, link it to your clean email. After you've connected this, you will go to Telegram and you will just make a quick message where you say hello. So you say hello, it doesn't really matter what you say, you test workflow. Then you will look into a clean email OpenAI messenger model and here you can find your chat ID. So you will copy this, so you copy that and then you will go to your Telegram uh, node where you can enter your chat ID. So you will copy paste it in there, then you can delete this node and then you will link your Outlook node uh, back again. And then your chat ID is created and is set up. So we go back to Telegram and then a text will be a high urgency draft has been successfully made. You can change it to whatever you want. You can also say success. Now we will cover the finance and bidding category. First, add your credential when you have created this node and the resource will be on message and the operation is going to be move. And the message ID will be the Microsoft Outlook trigger. So then you go to the Microsoft Outlook trigger and the ID can be found up in your uh, Microsoft Outlook trigger and then you can drag it into this input field. And the parent folder, as I just said, can be created into your Outlook. So you go to your Outlook, press on the three dots and then you can create a new folder which will be your parent folder. And then you will select the finance and billing one. Then we will move on to the OpenAI messenger model where we will be creating the draft for the finance and billing email. So you gotta first add your credential resource will be on text and the model will be GPT-4 or mini and then the prompt will be a role system and this role is going to be you are an executive assistant responsible for handling finance and bidding inquiries with accuracy and professionalism and I added some tasks some instructions and some output parameters they will turn on simplify output and you will also turn on output content as JSON after that is set up you will create a outlook create a draft node and you will first add your credential then you will put your resource on draft and your operation will be create. The subject will be the subject that you've just gotten from your OpenAI messenger model that we have just set up. So you will drag the subject and put it into the input field and you can drag your message and also put it into your input field and the message will be the body of the draft. Last thing that we have to do for the finance and billing category is adding the telegram node where we will confirm that we have created a new draft. What you can do is just copy this node. So you will copy it and you will drag it in here and what you will do is you only have to change your text and that is going to be a finance slash bidding draft has been successfully made uh, and then your telegram node will be set up. The last category that we got to cover is promotion and you will first create an outlook move a message node and in this move a message node you will first add your credential. The resource will be on message and the operation is going to be moved because you want to move an email. The ID can be found in the Microsoft Outlook trigger so you will look in your Microsoft Outlook trigger and then you can drag your ID in this input field and the parent folder will be promotion and this parent folder has to be created into your Outlook. You can also download this workflow with the link in our description. So you go to our description, download the link that we have put in there and then you will go to the three dots here and then import from file. 
where you have to drag the file that you have just downloaded into the import field. And then the workflow will appear into your NNN. And then the only thing that you have to do is change all of the data with your data and then your inbox manager will be set up. If you have any questions about this workflow, then leave a comment down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, then do not forget to subscribe.